Well, hi, I am Black Bright and broadcasting into your homes. I'm bloody freezing today and um, just welcome to my channel. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for liking and thank you for sharing. Um, I wanted to talk, um, since we're approaching Christmas now, I wanted to talk about this new £5,000 fine if you're caught dancing and singing in your car. Now, how the hell can you dance in a car anyway? But I was looking at a sun, the Sun headlines, and that's what it's claiming, that you can be fined £5,000 if you're caught singing and dancing to some of your favourite tracks. I mean, they make light of it, but I think it's to introduce. You know, like sometimes when you see these cars uh, driving around and the music is really loud. I think it's to get them. I think they're making light of it under the Christmas banner, but I think it's going to extend to loud music period because what they're saying is, is that it comes under careless driving. And if you've got loud music in your car, um, you can't concentrate. That's basically what they're saying. Because if you think about it, if you've got loud music and there's an emergency vehicle behind you, you're not going to hear it, are you, if it's blaring out? So I think um, under those grounds, it's quite a valid point. But what they're saying now at the moment is they're just kind of putting under the Christmas heading to say, oh, if you're caught singing and dancing on your way home, um, you're going to be fine. You're going to be hit with nine, nine penalty points and a £5,000 fine if you cause an accident. So it's no joke. So you people who like to, I, I, I mean, I, I don't put mine really loud because I've got a small car and it's just got a regular radio. But sometimes I do like to put it a little loud, but I don't know what their, um, what would you say? What do you call loud? What is loud for one person might not be loud for another. But I guess if you've got these speakers in your car, some some people have these big speakers specially designed to be really loud when they're driving. I don't know what the decibels are, but, you know, I I mean, you can hear them like from way down in the street. Sometimes you can hear them from a couple of streets over when you go to certain areas. So those I can kind of understand. It is disturbing. But to me, you could equate that with um, these guys that go around on motorbikes. Every, you know, zoom, zoom, and it's really loud. I find that distracting. But can you stop them from driving on the road? You can't. And some of them, they're revving up next to you. How is that not distracting? Sometimes you have to kind of wait until they've driven off before you can even move. So, I mean, when you're thinking about distracting, I think there's lots of things that can cause accidents. And that now they've they put on the list of careless driving. Look on the list of careless driving that you can be done for. Eating. Smoking. I didn't know you could be done for careless smoking, um, um, careless driving for smoking. I mean, you're always seeing people smoking in the car. But I guess it's not going to matter unless there's an accident. If there's an accident and you're caught smoking, they can say it's because you weren't concentrating on what you're doing. So um, the examples of driving with undue care and attention is driving inappropriately close to another vehicle, driving through a red light where that's obvious, turning into the path of another vehicle, that's obvious, colliding with a pedestrian, well, that's very obvious. Overtaking on the inside, that's obvious. But now they've added to that using on the using the phone. Well, we know that. But eating, smoking, changing a CD, and now playing loud music. I mean, soon you're just going to have to be like this. You know what I mean? And sometimes you need these little... Um, things like changing a CD to keep you alert, don't you? It's like people who drive automatic cars. Some people say they won't drive an automatic car because, you know, they like to be able to change the gears. So could that be considered, you know, a moment of inattention when you're changing gears? I mean, to what extreme are they going to take it? 
if you're driving an automatic, you just literally concentrate on the road and the, and the road signs. When you're driving a manual, you're, you're putting it into gear. Sometimes it gets stuck. Sometimes you don't put, sometimes, you you know, you don't put the, you put down the accelerator, you forget to pull up the clutch and all sorts. You're on a hill, you've got no clutch control. And that can kind of make you a bit edgy. You know, if your car stalls, all of those things can cause you not to pay the attention that you would normally pay if you was just driving along willy-nilly. So I don't know if they're taking it to the extreme. But anyway, um, if you've been charged without driving, without if you've been charged with driving without due care and attention, then either you will be issued with a fixed penalty or you will be summoned to go to court if the circumstances of the charge can't be covered by a fixed penalty. Driving, a, a driving home for Christmas could land you with a hefty £5,000 fine if you're singing away to festive songs. I mean, they make light of it, but it's, it's, not, even, it's not even funny. I think it's stupid. I mean, who's going to be singing away to festive songs unless you're bloody drunk? If you're drunk, you shouldn't be doing. You shouldn't be driving anyway. But I don't think people are going to be sitting in their cars singing away to festive songs. I really don't. But anyway, they've obviously had experience of it. Why they bought it out? Unless it's a unless it's a guise for something else. So, does this extend to the passengers? Supposing the passengers are singing and dancing, but not the driver. Would the driver still get the penalty points? Because it's distracting. It's going to be interfering with his concentration. In which case, you're going to have to tell your, your passengers to sit down and keep quiet. And then... Um, anyone travelling back from the holidays can be tempted to blast their Christmas tunes loud in their car while... Yeah, this is what the sun said. Anyone travelling back for the holidays can be tempted to blast their Christmas tunes loud in their car. And that will come under driving without due diligence. Driving without due care and attention, also known as careless or inconsiderate driving, is officially defined by the Road Traffic Act 1988 as driving that falls below the standard expected of a competent driver, driving that does not show reasonable consideration for other persons using the road. So, ordinarily, if you're found guilty of careless driving, a court can impose between three and nine penalty points or disqualify you. It is therefore a serious matter and one for which you should always speak, seek specialist advice. Well, they're saying driving with loud music is actually going to carry nine penalty points. If you're prosecuted for driving without due care and attention, the prosecution has to prove that your driving fell below the expected driving level of a competent driver. And this has to be proved beyond reasonable doubt. So... How do you prove that loud music didn't affect your driving, especially if you haven't had an accident and especially if you are driving safely? The fact that you're playing loud music is it got more to do with distracting other drivers. But like I said, I think if it's too loud, you can't hear emergency vehicles and like I said, if you can't hear emergency vehicles and it causes an accident, then you're in trouble. So all sorts of driving um, could be said to be careless from a moment of inattention to driving into another vehicle or pedestrians. Driving using mobile phones were often prosecuted for careless driving, but there is now a specific offence to cover this. The Sun writes, drivers could face a 5,000 fine for loud music for singing and dancing while driving, which could come under careless driving. But that is if your performance sees you involved in an accident. You could be hit with a £5,000 fine and nine points on your licence. They always say that at the end. So the £5,000 is not just for 
playing the loud music is if you're involved in um, an accident. I don't know, maybe um, it's just a fixed penalty point otherwise. Experts have previously claimed that if there is dash cam footage of you dancing and singing before an accident, you could be prosecuted for driving without due care and attention. How the hell can you drive in a car? How big is that car, for Christ's sake? They claim the second most distracting song is Feliz Navidad by Jose Feliciano with 76%. Honestly. Anyway, I thought I'd just share that with you just in case you're tempted to play loud music over Christmas, whether it's Christmas music or any other music, or attempted or attempting to play loud music, period. Because soon you're going to find that loud music is going to become an offence. Same way like using your phones, eating, smoking, although I never knew that smoking and eating was considered inattention um, to driving, inattention to detail when you're driving. I never, I mean, yes, I guess it could be because if you're opening up a sandwich and you've got one hand and you're trying to eat it, I guess that could cause an accident. So it makes sense. Anyway, that's all for now. Bye-bye.